YouTube, what's going on, man? Excellence here, bringing you guys another video back if you're on the channel. Today, I got the Kilo, man. You guys have seen me upload the M4 yesterday, so I thought I might as well give her a nice little go here with the Kilo. You guys know how powerful this thing was, like, almost a year ago at this point now in the Modern Warfare Warzone life cycle. One of my more favorite metas throughout the game this far, and I think this thing is definitely still usable with this build here on Rebirth Island. If you guys want to enjoy this video, I would encourage you guys to drop a like on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I upload exclusive content over on my Facebook page, which is linked in the description below. That includes Vanguard videos, Warzone videos, and also some live streams that will be starting up when the new map drops for Warzone, maybe even a little bit earlier when I level up my guns and stuff like that. So yeah, head on over there and make sure you guys are stay tuned for that. But yeah, man, I don't want to waste any more time. We're going to hop right into the video. Let's get right to it, man. All right, man, we're going to go control center again. This game is just getting super frustrating when it's all these guys just not moving. Their left thumbsticks are all broken. No one's moving at all. Oh my god, where the hell are all the guns, bro? My other teammate just leaves, bro. Teammate just punch the dog piss out of that guy. Enemy dropping into the AO. They're targeting me. Goodbye, UAV single. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Oh wow, what a loser. Yeah, I most definitely should have just grabbed the helicopter and ran. Forty-eight meters back this way, huh? Ah, okay, they're up top in headquarters or this other house above the buy station. Yep, told you. Shit, I wanted it. I wanted to shoot that, but I really got to get my perks going here. I beam that guy. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy soldier incoming. 
fire. Uh, I'm good old fashioned stabbing. Sorry, folks. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Holy, that scared me. What the hell? Where did my throwing knife go? Oh, I got a munition, so it's okay. Dropping some ammo. Stop, teammate. Yo, there's two guys down below here. Yeah, screw that. Not pushing that. Zone's gonna come in. I'd rather just hold them. Because my teammate is gonna get caught. Wait, oh, this is the last team. I just seen you over here, buddy. No, then kill you. Turn fire. What happened to good old fashioned stabbing? All right, your buddies are still in the building here. And they're going to have to move right into my aim. Decent little win, man. Decent little win with the kilo. This thing's still good, man. I like this loadout. Definitely gives me flashback vibes using this thing. Uh, yeah, man. Try it out if you guys really like it. It's nothing too different than what you guys have already seen a million times over. Content's kind of dry. So, all right, man. For the first attachment, I got the Monolith Expressor on here. Sound suppression and extra damage range. Hands down the best muzzle you can use on the kilo here. For the barrel, I'm using a 19.8 inch Prowler barrel for extra damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. This is the heaviest and the longest barrel here on the kilo, and definitely the way to go with this specific build. All right, here's where I switch it up. I got the GI Mini Reflex here for my optic. You guys usually see me rock the Corp Combat Hollow Sight with the blue dot, but I thought I might as well give her a try using the Mini Reflex. I did this with my M4 yesterday, and I actually really liked it, so I thought I might as well throw it on the kilo here and see how it is and it worked out pretty well by all means if you guys want to use this or even any of these other optics you guys can if you guys just want to copy this exact loadout the gi mini reflex is what i was using for my underbarrel i got the commando foregrip for extra recoil stabilization and aiming stability this is just my personal favorite underbarrel the kilo has very easily controlled recoil it doesn't really have that much to begin with but if you guys are still struggling with the recoil rock and merc or ranger foregrip whatever suits your playstyle a little better for me i'm already good controlling the recoil so the commando foregrip is just what I would rather go with in this build. And last but not least, man, I got the 60 round mag on here for some extra ammo capacity. It's not the maximum, but it is also not the 50 round. I think the 50 is just too little. 100 takes off way too much mobility. The 60 is just that perfect medium. So yeah, throw this thing on there and it is definitely gonna be beaming people. All right, man, that's the class setup. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, man. It's been excellence. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace out.